Good morning, good morning. I bet you thought this day was never gonna come again. We're actually gonna go out and train Rocky. Today we're going to work on the mini T. Been kind of working on it on and off. I've been so unbelievably busy that uh, this is kind of one of those training things, sessions that you can't do in just five minutes. Um, it takes a little bit longer because you gotta have a setup and stuff like that. So just remember guys, this is advanced. This is part two. This is the advanced training. So uh, things got to get a little bit more to another level here. I know on that whole first uh, DVD of Chris Aiken, all that stuff, you can just go out there five minutes, five in the morning, midnight, whatever you got to do. If you got to be out under your street lamp uh, at midnight, doing five minutes with your dog, working on hill, sit, stay here, whatever, all that stuff, um, I did it. And you guys can do it too. It don't take that much time. But on the advanced side of it, it takes a little bit more um, set up and time like that. So anyways, without further ado, let's go get Rocky Boy. Watch guys, he's gonna come flying out of that garage over to the right. He does it every time, watch. Hey, come here. What are you doing, boy? Oh, it's been a while. It's been a while, huh, bud? Wanna go train, huh? You can tell Wag's the answer, yes. Just woke him up. Good boy, come on. We'll go train a little bit and then cooped up in that old garage. Come on, kennel. Oh, you still remember how to do that. Good boy. Good boy. Huh? <laughs> you got a little sleep in your eyes, bud. Can I wake you up? Good boy. All right, the pooch is loaded. We're headed to the training grounds, AKA high school, uh, football field, <laughs> uh, practice field, I should say. But anyways, so guys, we're gonna work on the mini T, but I would say the beginning stages of it. Um, I'm gonna let you guys see uh, the mess, you know, I try to always let you guys see the mess ups and the goods and the bads. A lot of uh, training videos uh, only show the perf the perfection for the most part. That's what I like about Chris. He's not like that. He don't do that. So anyways, so we're going to go out there. It's been, man, I bet you it's been, I bet you it's been six or seven weeks since I've taken Rocky out and done this mini T. He was actually getting pretty good on it because uh, I was doing it every day for like a week. And then I got so busy, I literally couldn't even do it in the dark, even if I wanted to, which I wouldn't, something like this. Anyway, so we're going to go out there and do this. He may uh, uh, mess up or do something wrong. Hopefully everything's leveled out a little bit more to where I can get out there more consistently with him and that's what it takes guys, consistency. And uh, I think you guys know that well. I've said that a lot in all these videos. If you guys have never seen the beginner uh, series of videos, I'll link those in the description below the playlist and you can go back and watch basically from when Rocky was six and a half weeks old to how old he is now. In fact, December, January, February, March. He's a year and four months old right now. So anyways, um, all this stuff could be, he could be a lot younger and be doing this when he was a lot younger. So for you guys, if you stick with it, finish the first DVD and go into the second, your dog will probably be younger than Rocky. It's just doing it myself, working a job, all this kind of stuff. You know, it just don't happen like it does at a dog, a kennel where they do it every single day and get it done a lot faster and stuff like that. But trust me guys, the, the joy and the pleasure of seeing the dog you train go out and do this stuff, it gives so much more satisfaction. Not that I would never send my dog to a trainer because um, I know they're gonna do a, like a way better job than I could ever could. But the fact that you have that bond with your dog, you they never leave your side is kind of cool too. So either way you do it, it doesn't really matter. But anyways, let's get out. Got my bumpers. I'll kind of go over that here in a second, what you need to do this training session. Oh, Rocky boy hasn't been in a, out in a while, so he's a little deprived. He's gotta go mark about 50 trees, so he's got a lot of work to do before we get to the training grounds. Comment below if it amazes you how much liquid a dog can hold to mark territory. <laughs> it's pretty impressive. So we're getting out to the spot that we always train. I, last time I did it in a little bit of a different spot. Chris kind of goes over in the part two video, the advanced video. All right, I don't think he calls it advanced, but I'll pop it up right here. He kind of goes over how important it is to kind of keep doing this kind of stuff in the same area. But it's not that you have to. 
But anyways, this is the beginning stages of a lot of things, guys. It's gonna be, you know, hand signals over, back, and like I said, it all it's all baby steps to this point. It's crazy how everything you do in training leads to this point. So I got my tripod and tried to do this to where you guys can hear what I'm saying, see what I'm doing, all that good stuff. And like I said, I think you're gonna see a couple flubs by Rocky and me, probably. Something we forget, because it's been a while, but trying to get back on it and uh, get going. So, here we go. All right, guys, we're ready. I got my whistle. I got my bumpers. I actually got 11 right here. And as you notice, they're the orange ones. That's why I said you can't buy too many bumpers. You don't have to buy everything at once, guys. Don't feel bad if you buy a six pack and it's got two orange, two white, and a black and white, because you are gonna use them. If you go past the first DVD, guys, you are gonna use all these orange bumpers. In fact, you're gonna have to order more. Uh, I think the total you would need is like 15 or 16 a little bit later on when we start doing the land tees and the water tees and stuff like that But right now is the mini tee. Hopefully I can get everything in frame when he does the overs and stuff like that But if you remember there's home base There's the pitcher's mound first second third. Okay, this is all part of it And uh, that's the easiest way to remember. That's how Chris uses it and a lot of trainers That's that's the method. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna start at home today We're gonna basically start halfway between home and the pitcher's mound, okay? And we're gonna set up our bumpers in a T fashion, okay? So we're gonna have seven bumpers at second base, two at first and two at third, okay? There's a good chance you're probably gonna see Rocky pop, but uh, there's a good chance he's gonna do that because what they're doing is they're anticipating that whistle. They're anticipating you stopping him. So um, I, would, I won't be surprised if he does that. If he does do that, if your dog does that, Keep sending them all the way through because what they're anticipating is you stopping them at the pitcher's mound that you don't want them anticipating. You want them to go when you say go and not stop until they reach that bumper. So anyways, I'm going to leave the camera running and kind of speed it up and let you see what I'm doing with these bumpers. Hopefully everything's in frame. I'm going to walk to what the pitcher's mound's going to be, okay? So see if you, I'll show you guys. I'll stand about right here and then I'm going to show you where the pitcher's mound's at. Some honkers flying over. All right, guys, as you've seen, I already set them up. Hopefully, you could see everything when I was on the both sides and over at, when I was over at third. So, uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, remember, these are orange bumpers. I, um, I don't remember Chris saying this in his methods, but when I first did this with the orange bumpers, he was really not like getting what was going on. So, I mixed in a couple whites at each. The only problem that what that is is when he leaves from home or halfway between home and pitcher's mound they'll see him out of the corner of their eye and dart off and you don't want that that might be something he does today even though he can't see him it's crazy guys they literally can't see orange i was showing thomas the other day orange bumper was right there and rocky was like i threw it out there and he was like looking for it he basically had to sniff it out and and hunt for it it's crazy they just literally can't see it so i'm not worried about him seeing these bumpers that are over here I just want him to do what he's told. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started start talking. talking. Alright guys, now that he knows where they're at, I'm going to send him a couple more times. I'm not even going to try to stop him. Back. Good boy. 
Come on. Good dog. Good boy. Good boy, sis. Good boy. Back. Over. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You sit. Good dog. Only problem is, if you notice, he was slowing down. He's anticipating that. I gotta send him back more and more and more. Back. Sit. Over. Good boy. All right. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That time I bumped him, guys, which is what you're, if they're getting sloppy and lazy, you're bumping with the e-collar like a shotgun start. Back. Good boy. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Hey, he might be able to get all of them, guys. Sit. Back. Good boy, here. Good dog, you're doing good, bud. You're doing good. Back. No, back. Back. See, he thought I was gonna do it. Good boy. Good, see. Right there was a pot. He did it right there. You see him slow down and stop right there? Back. Over. Good boy. All right, you did good. Got all of them, I think. Here, no, no, here. Here. Sit. Good. Good. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the bill busted off. Good boy. There goes the rope. That's a little fun bumper, guys. I'm going to do one more. It's a good way to get him sit on the whistle. Guys, if you notice, when he was out there, he was taking the sweet time sitting. But honestly, guys, I'm actually pretty pumped. I cannot believe he did that good. Well, a couple mix-ups and mess-ups. Oh, there's my rope right there. Found it. <laughs> uh, someone black with the last name Headings, first name Starts with a raw and ends with a key. Chewed that up last time, so. I had to retie it and it just busted through. Where was I at? Now I can't remember. I'm impressed, guys. Honest to God, we haven't literally not done that in every bit of six weeks, if not more. Last time I did was at my dad's house. I didn't video it. If you guys get the gist and you see the mistakes that are being made, your dogs, he starts anticipating. Oh, he's going to send me over. I think he even hears. He'll hear this when I start picking this up, when I'm going to stop him. I think he hears that, so I got to. Smart because I can tell when he is, is like kind of looking back. So he got all 11 bumpers. I'm pumped I thought it was just gonna be a total flub and you guys were gonna see him mess up so bad. He did mess up. I messed up Okay, but we're making progress as soon as we can get through this mini T Guys, we're gonna roll on to the land T the water T and it just gets better and better and better and prep some more and more for duck hunting He's laying down now. Are you tired already? That's what happens when you lay in the garage for six weeks sit Good boy He's smart boy, huh? He's smart boy, big old blockhead. Look at this big old blockhead, guys. Look the size of my hand, Leaf. Good dog. Good boy. That just shows, guys, how smart these dogs are. It's incredible. They can go that long and still do that good. I'm really impressed, Rocky. You're a smart dog, huh? I think Rocky's gonna ready to be go home and take a nap. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Um, Man, he, he did so much better than I thought he would, so I was like, we're gonna have to do like three or four of these videos, but uh, you guys got the gist. I'm gonna keep working on it until it's perfected and he's going full blast and not popping or anything like that, okay, guys? Next thing, uh, I can't remember, if, I think it's gonna be land tea. I think water tea's after that, so. I haven't watched the DVD in a while. I gotta go back and reference and take notes and all that good stuff, so. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helps you out, helps your dog, comment below and let me know. I appreciate all you guys' comments on all prior videos saying how much it helped you. And yes, it does take the time to whip the camera out and try to make these. 
But you know what, it helps me reference back to see what I've learned, what I could do better. So it, re it really helps me out too, but I'm glad it also helps you guys. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please, I would love for you guys to join us and subscribe and watch our videos and be part of the community. It's really cool to talk to everybody about their dogs and stuff like that and duck hunting and, and bass fishing and all that. So Rocky and I say later and we'll see you on the next video.